Hey, it's Helen, and I want to show you a uh, couching tip. But first, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. I'm making paper on a 12 by 18 wo wove mold. This is made by Robert Walp. He makes these beautiful molds. And I've got abaca in the vat that's pigmented. And it's very finely beaten in my Hollander. Um, four hours. And I'll just uh, scoop. I'm going to pour some pulp off because I'm making really thin sheets for a, an artist book. And I'm going to let it drain for a moment and then I move it over here. And so this is where I set it to drain. I do not have a floor drain, so I'm just, uh, I let it drain into this second vat. Okay, so here's the couching trick. Um, and I want to show you, I tried first couching onto Pellon. This is a heavyweight Pellon. And you'll see at the end of the video, I'll show you how hard it is to remove the thin sheet from that. And um, actually the reason I'm doing all of this is because first I was just couching onto felt. But lifting these thin sheets, I ran into lots of problems. A corner would fold over and stick to another part of the sheet. And I was losing a lot of sheets. So then I tried on the Pellon. But as you'll see, it was very hard to get it off of the Pellon. So then uh, I had an intern here who suggested cloths because they use them in the studio where she's in school. And so I got this fabric. I'm going to cooch on it. And it removes much easier, as you'll see at the end of the video. So these thin sheets, I press really firmly to make sure that I really I'm making a good connection and it's pretty good I had a couple little dings on the corners okay so I was able to lift both of the sheets onto into my drying system on their substrate now they're dry um, I left them in here overnight um, they're, they're dry because they're thin sometimes it takes a little longer and so here's the one on the Pellon. Like, I can't even get the corner. Oh, I can barely get the corner up. And I use a micro spatula to release it. But then it's really stuck on there. And it's hard to, to get it off. So I have to just, I have to use the micro spatula and keep doing this. And it's, um, it's easy to accidentally force and get a, a wrinkle, so I just find it really um, hard. I'm going to show you one other thing. I can. So do. I found taking a ruler, you want to make sure the ruler is longer than your paper, and um, kind of forcing this. This is super hard work, especially if you're doing 20 or 25 sheets like this. It's hard on my finger pushing. And then I, I don't know, I ran into something here. So you see, then I get a little bend. So it's a pain in the butt. So um, now I'm going to show you the sheet that's on the piece of cotton fabric. And this is my drying system. I use uh, window screening to um, prevent water from getting on t between the uh, the blotter and the cardboard, the ridges in the cardboard start to uh, appear. So this is just an extra layer in between. And then I have two blotters on either side of my sheet of paper. So now here's my sheet, and it's on. This is just 100% cotton fabric, thin fabric, and it's much easier to peel up. I do like to get uh, one edge. And then I can just peel that right off. I could not do that with the Pellon. And there's my beautiful, thin, translucent sheet of paper. Thanks for watching.